Hey Filmmaker Sean here. In this video we're going to show you how to do a text or logo fade in inside of Premiere Pro. We're first going to show you an easy way and then a more professional one. So first we're going to type in something onto our screen here. We're going to use this T tool or press T on your keyboard and then press the preview screen here. Gonna type in subscribe and move this to the middle here. And now click here onto your timeline onto the clip and then command or control D. And now we have a fade in and fade out. So it's very easy. It automatically would add a uh, cross dissolve to your clip. And we can drag this out to make it slower and drag this in to make it faster. So now when we look at it, this is much longer and the back one is much faster. So this is the easy way, however, it might not look that interesting because the text is sharp continuously. So for a more professional, I'm going to add more of a blur, but we're going to do that with my logo instead of this text. Going to delete this, going to grab my logo here, and we're going to here to two seconds. And go to effects here, and I'm going to drag a Gaussian blur on here and go to effects control gonna click here on the stopwatch to add a keyframe here and add opacity click over here to add a keyframe move here all the way to the front here to zero and this to 100 now when we play this we have this going on so one thing uh notice this is like a constant speed so it's not that interesting. More interesting would be like if it would be fast and then slows down at the end. So that we can do with a uh, Bezier. So we're going to right mouse click on this keyframe, change this to Bezier, the other one here under it also. And we're going to click this to drop down. Gonna click over here, move this Bezier over here like this. And also on the bottom here at blurriness, gonna click here and move this bezier like that. Now when we play this, we have like it starts up fast and then slows down. So that's a, a more professional or better looking than a constant speed. But it really depends on your tastes and uh, yeah, what you want to do with it. But personally, I really do prefer it with a Gaussian blur instead of like being directly sharp. It gives it a more dimension to the text. So I hope you guys found this a very useful video. If you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos, please hit that subscribe button here below. Also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.